Welcome inside the human muscular system, where thousands of fibers work in unison. We'll uncover how these fibers respond to resistance training by growing larger, and in some cases possibly multiplying, to meet ever-increasing demands. Resistance exercises place tremendous stress on muscle fibers, causing tiny tears in the sarcomeres. Though they may look destructive, these micro-injuries set the stage for future growth. The body responds by sending immune cells to remove damaged proteins, releasing signals that awaken satellite cells. These cells fuse with the muscle fiber, supplying extra nuclei for an enhanced repair and growth capacity. Muscles primarily grow through hypertrophy. Each fiber enlarges by accumulating more proteins. However, some research suggests that under certain conditions, new fibers might form in a process called hyperplasia. Though widely documented in animal studies, its extent in humans remains debated. Still, both mechanisms highlight the muscle's remarkable adaptability. Whether through hypertrophy alone or with a small contribution from hyperplasia, muscle enlargement hinges on protein synthesis. Ribosomes build thicker actin and myosin filaments, increasing the fiber's ability to generate force, a phenomenon called myofibrillar hypertrophy. Hormones such as testosterone, growth hormone, and IGF-1 amplify this anabolic process, while dietary protein supplies essential amino acids for new muscle proteins. Together, they accelerate both hypertrophy and any potential fiber formation. In the downtime after training, your body rebuilds. As micro tears heal, the muscle adapts to better handle future loads, an increase in fiber size that typically drives noticeable gains in strength and thickness. By steadily challenging muscles with heavier loads, known as progressive overload, you repeat the cycle of microtrauma and adaptation. Over weeks and months, fibers grow stronger and in rare cases may even multiply, revealing muscles' astonishing adaptability. Ultimately, muscle growth relies on protein synthesis, sufficient rest, and progressive overload. While hypertrophy is the primary driver, emerging evidence hints that hyperplasia may also play a part under specific conditions. In either case, the result is a powerful testament to the body's ability to adapt and excel when consistently challenged.